Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. Welcome to the stream. Thank you guys very much for being here. I appreciate it. Hope everybody is doing well today. DK Naf, Monica, Patrick, GM's Adventures. Good morning, good afternoon, guys. Welcome. Uh, let's see. We have a 12 Waycrest. Okay, let's let's do that. Mayon, good morning, buddy. Welcome. Thanks for being here. So I, I put in a work order for a belt, and we got the work order that I put in yesterday for the bracers. So we replaced like 421 bracers with 463 bracers. Pretty big upgrade. I'm hoping that we get a chest today. Uh, I've been told that if we get a, if we get a chest crafted, we can't turn that into tier gear. And I either need to be able to turn the gloves into tier, or I need to- so, like, depending on which one we get, we'll have the other one crafted. And then we just need to get out of our belt, and we need to get out of our cape, and then the order I put in for the ring was never filled. It, it's still technically out there until tomorrow, but for whatever reason, like, maybe there just aren't that many jewel crafters. Uh, I- I don't know. But we might have to just, like, cross our fingers. We need a ring, and then we need a, a second trinket. Dustin, Marson, good afternoon, guys. Welcome. I'm really trying to get to, like, Draconic Superior before Season 4. I just don't know... <laughs> I just don't know if we're gonna make it. But yeah, it would be nice to get to at least Draconic Superior. Not that it seems to matter. I, I doubt it will stop us from just going right into Season 4 stuff. But it'd be a nice to have for when I'm like looking to join up with other people's groups. Because otherwise, I'm just kind of stuck doing my own key. Regardless of what that key is. And that's why we haven't got like a Dark Heart Thicket yet. Because I've been mainly stuck doing my own keys and this one hasn't popped for me. Every time I try to go into a Dark Heart Thicket, I don't get invited because of my white-colored gear score. It's tough. Steven, good afternoon and welcome. Uh, so we're waiting, obviously, on Tank and Heels. I could probably head out that way. Uh, I picked up some flasks, so we are good there. Uh, that being said, I am basically I'm basically out of gold. Pretty much, pretty much out of gold. So at some point today, I'll probably have to send some over from the shaman or the mage. Lael, good afternoon, man. Welcome. Thanks for being here.
Karen, good evening. Welcome to the stream, and thank you for being here. We are about to do Waycrest Manor. Plus 12. Plus 12 Waycrest. Jeff, you're proud of me? Last week I was barely able to assemble a group. Now I'm in plus 12. <laughs> yeah, last week I did not know like how to open the menu to get into a group. Yeah, that's absolutely true. Like, yeah, I didn't know anything. I didn't even know how to go to pre-made dungeon groups. Like, I couldn't find it. I, w I was stuck. I remember being stuck in, like, pre-made PvP and, like, not understanding how to get back and get into dungeons. So, yeah. I started knowing, like, literally nothing. Absolutely nothing. Except how to push my buttons. Like, obviously, I have a little bit of experience pushing my buttons, like, for my character. But other than that, I knew nothing. That's why I tell people who are hesitant to try this game mode, I tell them just to do it because it's actually like once you get over those initial growing pains like you can pick it up All right, everyone is ready. Am I ready? Uh, I don't know. A plus 12 for my first run of the day, probably not like the greatest idea, but let's see how it goes. Blood Moon, good afternoon and welcome. welcome. Thanks for being here. Knowing these foul creatures no longer prowl the night. The music is insane. How is the music? Is the music too loud? I know sometimes in these runs the music can really get going. Let me know if it gets too loud.
Is retail my favorite version of WoW right now? I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean anything is my favorite. This is where I'm having the most fun right now. I, I don't have a favorite version of WoW because I like I like different versions of WoW for different reasons. And and I dislike different versions of WoW for different reasons. So I don't I don't think I have a favorite. I, I'm never good at like answering like juvenile questions. <laughs> like like I don't know, it's like asking like, you know, what's your favorite flavor of sherbet? I don't know, like sherbet's good. Do you have any sherbet? Because I'll eat some sherbet. Uh, not sure what happened there. I just got like completely distracted, obviously. <laughs> ah, what a way to begin. Someone remind me tomorrow not to start with a plus 12 key. I need to start with like a 7 or an 8. Something like that. Uh, we all died? Did, did they die? Yeah, everyone died. It wasn't just me. I wasn't the only dead person. I can accept that. If it, if it wasn't just me, I can accept it. One second. <laughs> okay, I thought so. I just had to I just had to look up what it means before I decided that you were a dick. <laughs> I wasn't sure, but I did look it up. <laughs> and you've been borderline for a couple days, so I'm not too broken up about it. All right, uh, we have some confusion in the group. Let's see. Maybe the, the healer said that he effed up. I don't know what exactly he did. I didn't see what he did, but he said he effed up. I have been interrupting stuff. I should be tracking how many times I interrupt. And that should be like, the interrupt number should be the number that I'm like competing with myself about. Because yeah, until like yesterday I, I was really bad. Yesterday I started to try to interrupt a lot more. And I'm starting to kind of recognize like the ones that I can interrupt as opposed to like the stuff that I can't do anything about. Yeah, we're doing okay. Still have a lot of things to get better at. The thorns seek your soul. The 
Souls a service by setting them free. I do have to say that, like, looking at my damage numbers in the crappy gear that I'm currently in, I'm really looking forward to having, like, some really good gear. I think we're going to be able to crank a lot, a lot of damage. The class kind of seems, like, pretty overpowered. And it's not necessarily that it's easy to play, but it, it is very forgiving. The rotation is very forgiving for how much damage potential it has. Is it just you or is the stream buffering? It's just you. Yeah, looking at looking at my settings, it's just you. We're green, we've got no latency, I've dropped zero frames, everything should be good. We haven't had lag on the stream in a long time. I should knock on wood. I don't have any real wood around me. Um, but yeah, we, we haven't had any any latency or lag in a while, actually. I'm sure that just means that we're due for something. Oh dear, it seems 
you have slaughtered my entire household. The carnage is dripping through the floorboards. Why not join me in the basement and marvel at death's beauty? The music here is really good. What I've learned by doing these is that, like, for the most part, the five mans have really good music. This is the first run of today, yep. We're doing a Waycrest 12. Which might actually be the highest key that we've run. On this character. You know, like, the really overpowered thing about the Pally is that we're basically, we're basically a ranged class. We're, um, we're like a melee, a mid-range melee class. And since all of our abilities are, like, instant cast, it, it kind of lets you be really powerful, like, whenever you're on the move. As opposed to, like, I remember being on the mage and, like, unless we had a proc on the mage, like, being on the move, there wasn't really a lot that you could do. Never let 
Allow Gorak Tool to cross into our world. Hurry! Set them aflame! Every horror in the manor is making its way to us. Sterntide and I will hold them here. You have to finish this! Quickly! Burn it! Yeah, that was actually not bad. We had some initial, like, confusion early on in the run, but overall the run went good. We have 96%, we need three more percent of, uh, of trash. I await you in the blighted lands. We've done it. Gorak Tol has been banished. See? There is nothing a strong arm and a sharp steel can't fix. Thank you, heroes. You've broken the coven and released us from Gorak Tool's power. We are in your debt. Okay, okay, so like we probably didn't just didn't have a healer. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, well this is fine. I, I'm sure they'll probably get the last two percent. Uh, we are... Yeah, this is... No, wait, where the hell are we? Okay. Uh, we're not in the last room. Okay, we need to go this way. Oh, there we go. <laughs> this is exactly what I was talking about. I, I just put in an order for a belt through uh, the crafted work orders. I just used one of my crests. And so, like, of course, like, the next dungeon I do, I get a belt. Ugh. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, man. Yeah, like, what a waste. And it's soul bound, so I can't do anything with it. Oh, man. I knew that was gonna happen. I mean, I'm happy to have the belt, but yeah, I have a work order out. Maybe, maybe I can pull the work order down. No, maybe no one's filled it yet. Maybe that's an option. I just, I, but I, what I'm, all I'm trying to do is get Draconic Superior. So like, I'm not really min-maxing stats right now. 
I I'm just trying to get an epic in every slot. So, like, I, I want to use that resource to craft myself something else. Like, I, I just don't want to use the resource. If I already have a belt, I don't want to use those resources on the belt. Because they were, uh, obviously, the one item, I don't have a lot of them, and the even the ore was kind of pricey. I'm going to head over and see, like, if I can to just pull the work order down. I had the work order for the ring is still out there, too, but, like, I don't think there are enough jewel crafters because nobody's crafting my ring. It's been, like, a day and a half. My are crafted with great care. Uh, yeah, right here. Let's let's just take this down. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Cancel order. And so I'm hoping that'll send my materials back to me. Maybe. Yeah, I doubt it just put them in my bags. No, it didn't do that. Uh, and so, yeah, the, the ring is still out there, but, like, I don't think anybody's gonna... I don't... I feel like nobody's gonna fill it. Farewell. Not really sure why. Maybe I didn't tip high enough. So yeah, see, it's funny, we're, we're at 440, but because we have a few, like, really bad items, we're not even blue. Like, it's pretty sad. I, I really need to get rid of this ring. There's probably not, like, anything on the auction house that's straight up any better than the ring, right? Like, the highest item level I'm gonna get is probably 412. My wares were made with knowledge. Oh, uh, well, I could get a better ring, but it would just cost me way too much money. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that would be- that'd be a good solution if I had a hundred thousand gold to throw away. Jesus. Again. Crazy. I may need to make it a public one. What does that mean? Why- why wouldn't- why wouldn't it- it's a craft order. Why wouldn't it always be public? What are, what are we talking about? I've made- I've made- I've made several items through here and no one has ever said that. I may need to make it a public- I don't even know what that means. Oh my god, are you- it's a guild one right now? What in the- See, this wasn't a problem before I joined a guild! This is it. This is the issue. And before you guys got me to join this random guild, this was not an issue. That's why this one was working fine for me. And now it's not working fine. Uh, yeah, I don't- I can't- I can't change it. Like, I- I have to take the order down and put it back up, but it, it seems like there's some kind of wait time in getting my materials back. If I- if I ever even get the materials back. Yeah, this is- that's bogus. It's bogus that it defaults it to a guild order. It should always, always default it to a public order. And if you want a guild order, you should have to do that specifically. Like, there we go. I got two cancelled orders. Uh, who knows if I'll ever see those bats again. I hope to see you again soon. I can't just repost it. It doesn't give you the stuff back. Yeah, I, I don't- I'm not getting the materials back. So I don't know, like I said, I don't know if they mail it to me, if it, if it takes like 24 hours for the game to mail it. You would think I would have mail though. I, I will open my mail. But you would think if it mailed it to me, I, w I would have a mail icon. That's what I would like to see. In the event that I have new mail, I would really like to see the you have mail icon since you know that's been standard for the game for 20 years. Yeah, they're here. Th these are new mails. They're new mails and they should trigger your mail alert. Like, they're not old mails. They're not mails I've already checked. They are in fact new mails. Okay, uh, let's go back. So, okay. Let's- let's try a cloak. Let's try the ring- we'll put the ring back up. And then I'm either- well, maybe I should- maybe I should just wait. Let's put the ring back up and then that's all that we'll do. And then, like, whatever item we get first, whether it's chest or gloves, I will craft the other one. We're waiting to get one of these from a run so that we can make it into our fourth, uh, tier piece. And as soon as we do that, I'll have the other one crafted. If we can get out of the ring and out of the cloak, then that'll get us in full epics. So okay, let's let's My have a look at this. With great care. Okay, yep, guild order. <laughs> oh. Ooh, public order. Okay, perfect. Uh yep. Let's do that. 
And, and I think like maybe I'll just I'll just hold everything else and we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll see if we get a cape. We'll see if we get a chest or gloves. Farewell. And we'll kind of go from there. Uh, so yeah, maybe the ring will get made now. Uh, we have a 14. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Dark Heart Thicket 14. We're, I don't know if we're going to do a 14. I don't know if we're going to do a 14, but maybe we can do another 12. Maybe we can do another 12. I, I just, I want to use the option, I want to use the option that gets me, like, the, the soonest, the soonest resolve. <clears throat> so, like, yeah, like, the ring was never going to get filled by a guild order, apparently. But, like, overall, I, I just want it set to public. Like, I, I just want it to be a way to get the gear quickly. Like, if I had a guild that I, like, cared about, then, yeah, I'd probably use the, the guild one first. If I had a guild of people that I actually knew, played the game with, and cared about, then that would maybe be a good option. Uh, but when I'm in a random guild, I just want the thing made, like, as quickly as possible. Level 420, item 425 is a tank? Yeah, doing 11s. Yeah, that would get tough. I don't even, I don't even know if I was DPSing 11s when I was 425. I think we were doing like 5s and 8s. So it's still pretty impressive. Yeah, jewel crafting is less profitable, less jewel crafters. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. And then like, but I thought it would get filled eventually. Obviously I didn't realize I was on guild only. But yeah, I, I was really think, thinking it was a public order. I was really surprised that I hadn't gotten anybody to fill it. It seemed it seemed really weird. With like considering the rapidity with which like the other ones were filled, it seemed weird. So at least there was a reason for it. At least there's not like a global shortage of jewel crafters. Uh, another paladin, sure, sure, sure. I kind of enjoy seeing how I stack up against like other paladins that have like a higher gear score. John, good afternoon, man. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. Uh, so Dark Heart Thicket, Dark Heart Thicket is Legion. Um, I'm assuming maybe maybe it's over this way. No, Gor no, that's Gorgon. That's Everbloom. Vajir. We haven't done a Dark Heart Thicket in a while. Maybe Valshara. Valshara. Okay, cool. Yeah, we, we obviously have not done one at, at all on this character, which means it's been like three or four days since we've done a Dark Heart Thicket. I don't remember anything about Dark Heart Thicket at this point. So there's that. Jackie, good afternoon. Welcome to the stream and thanks for being here.
The nightmare begins to take me. That sounds bad. I don't really... I don't really want the nightmare to take me. The nightmare took me. Okay. It's fine. We're fine. We ended up here anyway. The tank was 417. Is that wait 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 <laughs> Did I did I grab the 417 tank? Is that is that real? See I have mail already. I've already I've already gotten that item crafted, that ring. That's how fast it happens. Um well I hope I hope this ends up being okay. Oh, oof. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, God. Oh, oh no. This is a plus 12, though. I should have paid a little bit more attention. I feel like maybe I'm gonna regret this. This might be bad. We, we might, <laughs> we might end up doing a Dark Heart Thicket 11. Like, soon. Because I don't, I don't know if this tank's gonna be able to tank this 12 key. Unless, like, maybe Blood Knights are, like, super overpowered, I, I don't know. I'm kind of worried about it. Let's hope we have a good healer. Yeah, and I, I wasn't really... I wasn't I wasn't paying attention, you know? I'm just, I'm so used to, like... Just seeing people pop in and just grabbing them. I'm, I'm used to being the weak link, like, in the group and not really having to worry about other people. But now we're getting to a point where, like, yeah. Like, I kind of, maybe I have to worry about other people. I can't tell if they're ready. The one guy said three seconds. The the tank never did anything. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll give it a second. And, and like it looks like we're probably ready. I'm gonna activate it and see what happens. Oh, this that's good. Yeah, that's. I understand. Yeah, obviously, well, of course. It's like it's hard enough to communicate with people already. me only speed themselves to an agonizing death. So says the shadow of Xavius. Be still, worm. I will deal with you shortly. My impressions so far, like, I'm, I'm pretty worried. I'm a, I'm a little worried about this run. It's not looking like incredibly promising. I could probably out DPS this other pally. I've just I've been a little bit too worried about my health to really like focus on my DPS rotation. 
I, I've been fixating a little bit too much on, on like group HP. <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm kind of really concerned. I'm concerned about the healer and the tank at this point. So yeah, I have not been like focusing as much on my rotation. I don't know. Maybe we'll be okay. Basically, it's like I, I'm not. I don't trust the healer to keep me alive right now with everything else going on. I, I had to like, hit myself with a couple words of glory. So, yeah. Well, the other pally got himself killed pretty much right away that time. Uh, apparently, like, are we not going to res him? Okay. There we go. No? Yes? No? No, maybe not. I guess I'll res him. I got it. from these woods or suffer nature's wrath defilers so it is you who have befouled these woods with a nightmare i sense a powerful druid among you you dare to challenge my authority what is that you hold druid with great restorative I am nature's fury incarnate I will bleed the nightmare from you Oh, there we go. A fluke. Savor it and pray you do not face me next. They will be more than prepared. For your true power rests in the nightmare. Silence, weakling. Dreadnought, I appreciate that, man. Thanks be for being here and for checking out the stream. I appreciate that, too.
I've got to turn chat bubbles off. Herbie, I appreciate that. Thanks for being here and checking out the stream. So yeah, I mean, the tank and healer have both seemed to settle in, far, and everything seems fine. Despite the I'm tank's, trash. like, sort of absurdly you low no item level. Realm, lord. Bold words for a prison. Even an echo of my power was enough to overwhelm you. Have I done any research on my ideal rotation? Uh, like, no, not so much. But, yeah. The Paladin's actually a really forgiving rotation. I did read a lot about the Frost Mage. Because the Frost Mage had, like, certain abilities that you really, like, absolutely needed to fire off in a certain order. And, like, really, besides getting Blade of Justice and Judgment up, and then spending my Holy Power, like, yeah, there's, there's not really a lot. There's probably, like, some kind of priority order, but I feel like I've got it pretty okay. I looked up for like my enchants and my gems and stuff, but I didn't really feel like I needed to look up the rotation because it's not it's not really a static rotation. You're just building and spending with a couple of priorities based on whether you're like in AoE or in single target. Popping your cooldown and stuff like that. 
If I ever start to feel like I'm like way underperforming, then I will uh... That's the only time I'd probably consult a guide. Is if just like, if my damage was not like comparable to people in similar gear. Then I would think, okay, well maybe I'm doing something wrong, I should, I should read up. Yeah, for the for the paladin, the only big difference for my spec in AOE is that I'm gonna I'm gonna hit divine storm. Like that's basically the biggest difference. Like single target, I'm gonna final verdict. AOE, I'm gonna divine storm, and that's really like there are a couple other things going on. Like you know, trying to have divine toll up for AOE, trying to have wake of ashes up for AOE. There's a couple other things, but for the most part, it's really simple. It's really just a matter of whether or not I'm gonna final verdict. Or I'm gonna I'm gonna Crusaders uh, or Divine Storm. Like, yeah, it's not it's not it's not complicated in the way like some other specs are, where it's like a very strict rotation that you can mess up. Like on the Frost Mage, like you really want to do things in a certain order. Like you want to fire off your Frost Orb, then you want to go in and hit your your instant Blizzards, then you want a Kona Cold. Well, you want to you want a Frost Nova, then you want a Kona Cold. That'll get your Frost Orb back, you fire your Frost Orb off again, then you put your Instant Blizzards down, you got your Meteor Shower in there somewhere. Like, the Frost Mage had a very, like, specific order of abilities that you really wanted to fire things off, especially to do, like, maximum AoE damage. So for that one, like, a couple people told me some things, and then I had to do a little bit of reading to, like, fully understand, like, what needed to happen. But the, the Rep Pally's not like that. The Rep Heli is like much more forgiving and much more just like reactionary based on how much holy power you have and what the situation is. And yeah, typically I'm not really the kind of person to like hardcore follow guides uh, unless I know, unless I feel like I'm doing something way wrong. Unless I get to a point where something doesn't feel right. That's really the only time that I would uh, consult the guide. Otherwise, I, I'll just figure it out by doing it, trying to tweak things uh, to increase my performance. away slowly, painfully. I will fracture your feeble mind.
Don't act surprised. I will fracture your feeble mind. This must be some kind of mistake. Well earned. Yeah, victory. like when, yeah, we like I feel like that was like pretty decent performance for my gear score, like compared to their gear scores. So I feel pretty good about that. Enemy you fought here was I feel pretty good. Could have done a fourteen. Yeah, maybe. You never know. Ah. <laughs> uh, Another wrist piece. After after I've already had one crafted. Yeah, the one I have crafted is better. But yeah, what a what a bummer. I really could have used gloves, a chest, a cloak, or a trinket. That would have been uh That would have been great. Yeah. That would have that would have been awesome. All right, so let's see. Uh, we're climbing. We're getting up there. Uh, we've got white rating and all the rest of these. What key did that give us? That got us a fourteen throne of tides. Uh, same thing here, like, I think I'm gonna bump it down to a 12. Like, I think I'd be okay to do a 12 Throne of Tides. I don't really know if I'm ready to do a 14. I mean, we could try it. I'd have to really pay attention to, like, the, the gear score of the healer and the, and the tank. Would I be down to do raiding as well? Yeah, probably, but it, to be honest, like, when I do raiding, it'll probably happen in War Within. I don't know if I'm gonna worry about raiding, uh, in Dragonflight. I really like 5-man stuff. I like 10-man group content too, but there is no, there is no 10-man raid size in retail. Like, I prefer, I prefer smaller raid, smaller group sizes for difficult content. There's the ring, so that's, that's nice. I think that's our last green item. Yeah, there we go. So now we have, uh... We have blues and epics. I, I wonder why my item level, like... I know it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I wonder why the color is still white. You'd think the color would at least be blue if we have all blues and all epics. I wonder what's really holding that. Oh, no, no, my chess piece. <laughs> My chess piece is a is a green item. I don't have any more crafting marks right now anyway. So there's that. Not really anything I could do about it. Okay, let's try to do this key. Let's let's try it. Let's try it. Uh, yeah, let's keep it as a 14 throne of tides and uh, and see how that goes. At 450, it turns blue. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get 450 unless I replace this 418 chest. Uh, next time, next time I can make a crafted item, I'm, I'm gonna have to get a crafted item for this. It's really, it's really holding me back. Yeah, it's an item level threshold. Mm, yeah, it could be. I feel like I feel like I've had a lower number, but had it be blue. I feel like if I, like like if I go on to my shaman right now, I'm pretty sure she's like 436, but it's a blue it's a blue number and not a white number, and she's like 10 points lower, I think. So I don't know. Either way, having a 418 chess piece is really gonna hold me back, and I need to get that sorted out like as soon as possible. I don't have any- I don't have the crest. I don't think I have- unless it- oh, it put it in my reagents bag. I didn't- I didn't see it there. Yeah, I didn't realize it was gonna put that in my- in my reagent bag. Yeah, I should probably, like, have one made. Let's go have a look. 
I, you know, it's the same thing. As soon as I have one crafted, it, one's gonna drop from a, from a dungeon, so... Like, that's gonna happen no matter what I do. Looking to buy? I have 13 out of 16 already, so we, we need three more. Our flight has much to offer. Um, what am I what am I doing wrong here? Doing something wrong. Just don't know what it is. Uh, primal Molten Alloy. Yeah, that's that's spelled correctly. Is there like a reset so I'm not like looking in armor? Like, there should be just like a, a reset. There we go. That looks better. Let's try that again. Primal. Molten. Alloy. There we go. Uh, we need three of them. There we go. Travel safe. That will probably fill while we're in the next run. Speaking of the next run, uh, we should probably. Oh, see, it is going to have three. At 14, it has three modifiers. Ugh. That could get messy. All right, let's head out while we look for a tank. Yeah, ha have, just having the three modifiers in general is probably going to be a pain. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, maybe... Uh, okay, I'm going to regret this. 444 with, like, very little rating. I just kind of hope that it's an alt. Yeah. We'll see how this goes. Oh, did he not take it? Okay, maybe he didn't even take it. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. We'll wait, I guess. Wait for a good tank. He could have been a good tank. He could have been good. We we had a you know we had a really low item level tank in the last run. I didn't think he was going to do any good either, but he did really well. So it's uh, it's hard to say apparently. What's my favorite dungeon to run like all time or like out of the current rotation? All time, probably Shadowfin Keep. The original Shadowfin Keep, or Court of Stars. Court of Stars is an amazing dungeon. The music is awesome. The ambience is awesome. In this rotation, uh, they're all okay. They're all okay. 
Everbloom has the best music, but is kind of like the worst time. And then Waycrest Manor kind of has like the best like overall vibe. I'll do a little D-list and relist there, move us back up to the top. This'll have to do. 465, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's that's that'll work. That will work. And people complain about quarter stars when it was in the M plus rotation. Uh, was it because of the last boss? I just like the uh, I like the ambience. I like the vibe. The music is also really, really good. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try to focus up so that I don't die too many times. We are an all melee group, I just noticed.
<laughs> Herbie, that's awesome, man. I, I do think there's a lot of, like, negative stigma attached to Mythic Plus that, especially at the lower keys, isn't really true. Like, people tend to, like, and I was the same way, like, before I started doing Mythic Plus, I assumed it was a toxic place, uh, like, where people were just rushing to beat some crazy timer, and it was gonna be a really bad time, and that's not what it is at all. And that doesn't mean that, like, at higher keys, there isn't, like, some negativity. There's, like, negativity sometimes in all parts of the game when people fail. Uh, but I haven't encountered any real negativity, um, or toxicity in any of these runs. So... Yeah, it's been it's been a good time. I hope that like more people will give it a shot who like used to enjoy Five Mans. Like like I used to really love Five Mans before they came out with Mythic, and when Mythic came out, I stopped enjoying Five Mans. I stopped doing them. Never even really gave them a chance. So you know, potentially, I've spent like six or seven years not engaging with a game mode that I actually enjoy quite a bit. It turns out. The toxic players went to Season of Discovery. Yeah, Clint, I kind of, I kind of agree with you. Yeah, I, I think that, I think that the toxic players went to Season of Discovery. Like, and like, just the people who want to demand like logs and demand like all these like, you know, you have to have already done the content in order to get invited to a pug to do the content. Like, I think a lot of those people ended up in Season of Discovery. And all the classic people are coming back to retail because Season of Discovery is not really fun for us. Kind of funny. Oh yeah, and you'll you'll see it anywhere. Like right, if you get high enough in content, you'll see it anywhere. But the thing is, like, Mythic Plus allows you to progress quite a bit, like, before you will ever see that. Y there's a lot of, like, a lot of keys that you can do and not really encounter that kind of toxicity. You have a, a big progression road for your character. Like, you can basically, I think you can get, like, you know, you can get your achievement, you can complete your plus 15s of every one, and you probably won't encounter a lot of toxicity. Not on the scale that I think people worry about. Like coming from the outside. Even doing plus 20 keys, you'll see less toxicity than sod raiding. I mean, I, I didn't, after phase one, I didn't raid, but yeah, I, I believe it. Judging by, like, the things I would see, I, uh, I believe that's probably true. It, it's just like, it, you know, sod was very unfriendly for pugs. Whereas this experience has been, like, really friendly for pugs, for me. Like, it, it's been a really good time. The loot caps out. Yeah, but the thing is, like, even if the loot caps out, like, that's good. You know, like, I'm glad the loot caps out at some point. And then that way, like, if what I'm doing, if my character is a Mythic Plus character, then that, when I cap out the loot, like, I've, I've beat the game. <laughs> like, when I cap out the loot, I can, I move on to an alt, you know? It's like, it doesn't really, it doesn't make me want to do, like, Mythic Plus and then get into Mythic Raiding. Like, I don't think I would ever enjoy, like, a Mythic Raid. Because that's that's coordinating like 20 people in very, very difficult content, which is going to be harder, obviously, than coordinating five people. But yeah, I mean, 
And we'll see. Like I said, maybe maybe I'll do some raiding in, uh, in War Within, but it, even if I did raiding in War Within, I'd probably only go as high as heroic raiding. I, I don't think I would ever try to do mythic raids. And so, like, I don't know how the gear compares, like, from, like, like a mythic 25 key to a heroic raid. Because, like, yeah, that would be the highest raid that I could do anyway, would be a heroic. So far, I don't want to jinx it, so far the 14 key is, uh, it's going pretty good. If you're decked out in Mythic 20, you'll do pretty good in a Heroic Raid. It could, could you get better gear, like, from the Heroic Raid than you could from, like, Mythic 20, 25? Or would it be, like, pretty close? I, I don't know why I got stuck watching this cutscene, it just, it just kind of drew me in. The cutscene drew me in, I just kept staring at it. Better trinkets. Otherwise, once they're fully upgraded, it's about the same. Hmm. I guess that's a way to incentivize, like, Mythic Plus players to, like, do some raiding. Like, oh, look, you can get a really good trinket. I feel like they should just be separate progression paths. I, I don't I don't feel like that there really needs to be crossover. I, I feel like I don't know. It, that's a tough one. I feel like you should be able to do like the content that you want and you should be able to achieve like equivalent equivalent gear. If the challenge is like if if the content is equally hard. That was smooth as well. It's not a very big difference, like a 5% difference. Yeah, that's not a lot. I think the difference is like you you can pug like high level keys but I feel like it's harder to pug like a heroic raid. I feel like pugging a heroic raid could be a way to like encounter some of that toxicity. <laughs> Whereas like obviously it it seems pretty easy just to pug like high level mythic keys.
Blood Moon. Have a good afternoon. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. We'll see you next time. shall take my leave once my strength has returned. We need uh, some serious repairs. Uh, you'd think I would build the habit of repairing between runs, but so far I haven't. Greg, good afternoon, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here.
Oh, damn. I got completely, utterly melted. Just melted. I, I waited, too. I kind of waited to see to let him get threat, but uh, that didn't matter. Uh, can I actually get back to them? Yeah, it looks like I can. I'm surprised nothing broke. Everything's still yellow. We really can't afford to die again? Ideally? I just, I just didn't see it. I didn't see it till it was too late. I was paying attention to the people with the water, and I didn't see the purple swirlies beneath the people with the blue water. I think that's the first time that I've died to those. Ah, uh, we got a battle res. Very nice. I don't know what's wrong with my guy though, he, he can't take any actions right now. I, I have something, some kind of bubble on me. Not really, not really sure. Oh, I'm broken. <laughs> I'm broken. I can't act right now because I, all my shit's broke. So, you know, there's only so much I can do at the moment. That's a lot of fun. Didn't see that coming. The problem is going to be like if they can't clear this without me, then I'm going to have to figure out how to get a repair. We need to like stack up. We're not. Oh, we need to stack up. I hope they can get this. I, I don't think there's anywhere in here that people can mount up. So yeah, like mounting up's not really an option. Maybe I could switch over and do some like backup healing. With like word of glory heals or something, I don't know. Not really a big way for me to be useful right now. The waters are cleansed, drinking their power. Behold the power of pure water. Yep, this it's fine. <laughs> oh my god. Somehow we did it. All right. Uh no mage, so we're going to be going to be hearthing out. Yeah, now we have to go repair. Yeah. I'll try not to keep forgetting to repair. Oh. We, we were given an item. I will examine this item once I'm outside the instance. It, it's an upgrade. Yeah, it's like a 20 item level upgrade. Alright, repair first. 
Then we'll take a look at other things. Uh, if I equip this... I have a gem. But I don't- I don't have the setting. So I'll need to get another- another setting if I can remember, like, what they're called. Uh, let's grab a repair off of this guy. That just cost me 400 gold that I really- I really didn't have. Sad day. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, that's that's nice. So 418 to 463. Draconically superior. Okay. Yeah. That's that's great. I still I still need to replace the cape. I still need to need to replace the gloves and the trinkets. But yeah, my goal was kind of to get draconically superior before season four. So technically, we've met that goal. Uh, I need to look for the setting for my neck piece. I have no idea what it's called. We will not something, something, life. something setting. Yes, I think this is it. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Thank you for sharing. I found it. And then pretty soon, I'm going to have to start putting enchants on some of the pieces that I'm probably going to keep for a bit. So I'll probably just wor worry about enchanting, like, mainly the stuff that I have turned into tier gear. So maybe I'll wait. I'll wait and see if I can turn the gloves. If I get a replacement pair of gloves, I can make that my fourth piece. So maybe I'll, I'll hold off on enchants until then. Uh, let's see what we got. Mainly because I'm broke. I mean, I could send money over for my other characters, but that's not going to help me. Like, in the long run, it's not going to help too much. Uh, 16 Atel Desire. We're not, we're probably, like, we're probably not going to do a 16. I mean, we could. We could do a 16, I guess. Let's, let's bump it down to a 14. I'd, I'd be happy just to see a blue number. Let's bump it down to a 14 and then we'll see. I can't wait to hear about your adventures. Tell me another story sometime. Don't forget to repair your gear. <laughs> Don't forget to repair your gear. Oh, I forget. Oh, I forget. We got two pretty good DPS, it looks like. Now we need, like, some decent tanks and heals. I'm gonna be on the lookout. Like, we need- I need them to be at least my gear score. Like, they can't be- they can't be lower than me. D that doesn't feel right. I'm not gonna try for Keystone Master until Season 4. Yeah, like, Season 4, I'm gonna get, uh, the Mage and the Paladin Keystone Master. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna push to get that in season three. Not with only especially not with only a couple days left. My only my goal for this character was to get him draconically superior to get him ready for uh, season four. So technically, I have both of my characters in a, in a really good spot to start season four. Like goals have been achieved. I am very happy about it. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, Tuesday. Right? It's Tuesday. 
that the uh, next season starts. <clears throat> why? Yeah, why would it mark it? Why would it mark it on here? Why would that be a thing? I'm pretty sure the season starts on the 23rd. Um, but the calendar doesn't seem to care about that at all, which is kind of strange. It is the 23rd. Yeah, I, w I wonder why they don't put that kind of stuff like actually on the in-game calendar. You know, it's kind of a big deal. That looks pretty good. 475 with a 2600 rating. Yeah, sure, I'll take that. It never tells you on the calendar. It seems like a big miss from like Blizzard's standpoint. It seems like a big miss. They should definitely just put it on the calendar like they put everything else on the calendar. I don't, I don't know if they have a date for the mop leveling event yet, though. That would be like whenever whenever the next patch comes out, which do they have a date for the next patch? Because yeah, it should be with the um, with the point seven patch. I was kind of assuming that was going to be sometime in May, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's the date for the patch. So yeah, I don't think they have like a clear date for it. It's probably going to be sometime in May. Uh, that being said, the Cataclysm comes out on May 20th, so it's either going to be a couple weeks before May 20th or potentially a couple weeks after May 20th. I don't know if they're going to like put them really close together. The mop event is the 23rd. Are you sure? Because I listen, like I read, I read that too. I read that too that it was the 23rd, but I don't think that's right. Because it, it's coming out as part of patch 10.2.7. And like, so if patch 10.2.7 doesn't even have a release date, I did see a couple articles that referenced that it was gonna be coming out on the 23rd for the mop event, but I, I, I'm pretty sure that's wrong. I'm almost 100% sure that's not accurate. Season four starts on the 23rd. 10.2.7 does not come out on the 23rd, and Mop Remix is going to be a part of that patch. Like, Mop Remix is a part of the patch, so we're not going to see Mop Remix live until the patch is live. You no, know, yeah, no, you read that, because I read it too, man. There were a couple articles on the internet that, like, said that erroneously. Mop Remix is not out already. No, it's not. <laughs> it's on the PTR. It was on the PTR over the weekend. But you can, in fact, not create a Mop Remix character right now. If you could create a Mop Remix character and play them right now, I would know that. Uh, because I'd be leveling up my Hunter. So, yeah. And so the new season is not the new patch. That's the thing. Like, the season comes out on the 23rd. That's not patch day. That's just when season 4 starts. That's when the new Mythic rotation starts. I believe that's when they make some changes to the raids and stuff that are in rotation. Like they're gonna have faded raids or whatever, I think. But that might be part of 10.2.7 as well. So so just to be clear, Mop Remix is not out. Mop Remix is part of the 10.2.7 patch, which does not have a release date yet. The 23rd marks the start of Season 4. And those are the dates that we know. And then Cataclysm pre-patch... Cataclysm pre-patch comes on April 30th, and Cataclysm 80 to 85 content launches on uh, May 20th. But we do not have a date for 10.2.7, and therefore we do not have a date for Mop Remix. Them's be the facts. Uh, and we don't have a tank either, <laughs> and that's a fact. But maybe I should head out to the dungeon anyway. That would probably be cool. Uh, Atel Dazar. Stan, good afternoon. Welcome to the stream, man. I, I'm really hoping that I can get Keystone Master on my Paladin and my Mage before 10.2.7 comes out. 
Uh, because when, when the patch drops, I'm going to want to work on doing the new story content. And I'm going to want to work on leveling up a character or two in Mop Remix. So I'm kind of hoping that uh, I could have met my goals, maybe. <laughs> At least maybe got Keystone Master on one of my characters by the time the patch comes out. Uh, we are going to the place with trolls and stuff. There we go. I can't, I can't decide if I want to do a Hunter in Mop Remix first, or if I want to do a Rogue. I, f I don't know. You know, I got one melee character and I have one ranged character. I I'm working on the Warrior. I'm working on a Warrior in a recorded series. So maybe I should do the Hunter as a, as a second ranged option. Or I could do a Priest and do like a Shadow Priest. That might be cool. Plus three on all will give you Keystone Master? Yeah, like, I don't know about that. I know they're making some changes to the difficulty scaling. But I don't know if a plus three will give you Keystone Master. Maybe. So, like, the, what I read was that, like, normal heroics are gonna feel- are gonna be more like a Mythic Zero. And a Mythic Zero is gonna be more like a Mythic Ten, so maybe. I wonder how they're making stuff, like, so much harder that it- that it scales that way. Because that's kind of crazy. So, like, a Mythic 25 key is going to be, like, a Mythic 60 key? Like, how is that going to work out? It's kind of nuts if you think about it. Manea, good afternoon. Welcome to the stream. Oh, we got a uh, flashing flasher here. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, like, uh, but yeah, I mean, I think that is going to be like, it's going to be similar to that though, because I know for sure they're making those changes. Like, that's what they said. They said Heroic is going to be equivalent to Mythic Zero, both in difficulty and in like the reward. And then they said Mythic Zero was going to be more like a Mythic 10 in both difficulty and reward. So if a Mythic Zero is like a Mythic 10, it makes sense that like a Mythic 3 to 5 would be like a Mythic 15 is now. You know what I mean? If Mythic, if Mythic Zero is, is gonna be like Mythic 10, then I guess we can just like keep adding 10 to that, and then like a Mythic 5 is gonna be like a Mythic 15. Did I look at the Blizzard news about War Within? I, uh, I watched the Bellular video about it. I, I, I can't watch, I can't watch the Blizzard people on streams. They're so- they're just so cringe. I know, they're just- they're fine, they're fine. They're just people. But also, like, when you work for a big corporation, like, you kinda also have to be an actor. When you go on, like, a, a stream or anything like that. And, like, I just can't listen to Ian and those people talk about the game. I wish I could listen to them, like, more naturally talk about the game. But they have to be, like, so careful in, like, what they say, how they say it, what they reveal, what they don't reveal, that I don't enjoy watching them. So I watched the Bellular video about it instead, and I learned, you know, a little bit. But I, but I didn't, uh, yeah, I, I just, I couldn't watch, like, I don't know who was the, I don't even know the name of the caster they were interviewing with, like. I just, <laughs> I found it all, I turned it on for like five minutes, I found it all kind of cringe. I guess I should only, I shouldn't, I shouldn't say much more than that. Uh, does everybody hear? I thought we were gonna get summons out, but maybe I'm the last person that's just not in the dungeon. That could be the case. Let's- let's do a ready check. Let's pop a flask, let's eat some buff food. There's somebody not here, the- the rogue is not here yet. Yeah, it's not, it's, but I know, and I know they're not phony, but it's like the nature of, the nature of talking about these things as people, like, especially at Ian's level, like, you can only say so much, 
the things you do say have to have a very specific tone. There's a there's a script you're following. Like you're you're following a script for the most part. And I just find it I just find it kind of cringe. I wish they could like more honestly talk about how about the game and like how they feel about it, etc. But you know they can't. It's not the nature of it. And honestly, like I don't really want to spoil too much stuff. Like I, I I'm gonna eventually play the beta, and like that's gonna be spoilerific enough. Like I I don't want to spoil too much. And already, like I looked at the War Within news for like two seconds. I saw like one thumbnail headline that ruined like a huge story element. Like, right away, a huge story element leading into the expansion was ruined for me. And I was like, well, that's kind of a bummer. I really wish I could have, like, experienced that for myself in the game. This isn't going to be line of sight, is it? Oh my god, he's taking him in the wrong spot. <laughs> you can't tank him here. You got. They got to tank him somewhere else. Like, oh god, how am I going to get line of sight? He's like, yeah, there you go. Pull him this way. You killed my line of sight area. That's where I go for line of sight. This is just bad, like, it's just, it's just, I don't, they're, maybe they're getting line of sight over here now, I, I don't like this. I got really comfortable with, like, everyone tanking him back this way so we can use that one area for line of sight, and now we're doing it differently, and it's, it's very uncomfortable. I bubbled out of the last sphere, I'm not gonna have a bubble to get out of the next one. Apparently we're just gonna tank him wherever he runs. I've never seen him moved around like this before. This is kind of crazy. All right, we got. All right, how was that not line of sight? Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> Even that wasn't line of sight. Apparently. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got a dead tank. That's great. That's great. Dead tank. Okay, we got dead. Dead me next. I'm about to be dead. Let's see if I can like kite for a second. No, no, no. Can't kite. So you ha you have to tank him in a certain spot. When he chases, he's got to he's got to be pulled back. You got to tank him right here. It's just like that's just how you do it. <sighs> this is not how we do it. You don't understand what warbands are supposed to be. I don't. I think it's just like a collection of your characters. I I don't really know either. I I, I couldn't. I think it's a way to it's a way to share account progress, but like I I don't know what the point of it is. It looks cool. I like that the character select screen is like all of your characters hanging out at like a camp. It seems like it's just like borrowing from like you know like BG three. You go back to camp and all your characters are kind of hanging out there. It, it just seems neat. I don't know. Besides sharing account wide progression with some things, like I don't know the technical. I don't know the technicalities of it or like what the point of it is. But it's a cool way to do a character a select screen. Sharing gold. Oh, they can share gold and stuff. Well, that's that's cool, I guess. I mean, you can sh you share gold right now. I guess it, it like eliminates the need to have to mail stuff to yourself. Because you you can ar you already share all your stuff. Like you already have a bunch of bind on account stuff that's like shareable, and you can you can always send gold to yourself instantly. But I guess that's cool. I, I hope like a ton of development time did not go into it, but cool, I guess.
going much more smoothly this time. Much better, much better. Rezan was a powerful lord. Perhaps you will make a worthy sacrifice for Zul. See, like, the thing is, I, I feel like a lot of transmogs and achievements are already bind on account, right? And so reputations, I guess, is nice, so yeah. Well, they're not reps anymore, they're they're called whatever they're called now, but... Renown tracks? Is that, like, are, are the renown tracks gonna be shared amongst your characters? Because transmog is already shared. And, and I, think a, I think a lot of achievements are already shared, aren't they? Like, the bigger, harder to get achievements? Right. Yeah, I understand. You, you can't you can't use transmog from outside of your armor class. Like, yeah, yeah, I know that. Like, are they changing that? Cuz that that doesn't seem related to warbands if that's the case. I don't know. Either way, I I'm, I'm sure it's a cool feature that people will love. I I just don't it doesn't really affect me. And, and the only way it would affect me is if, like, Renown Tracks were shared. And that doesn't even really affect me too much, because I, I don't really care about Renown Tracks. Uh, we lost a DPS, which is, like, really, really stupid. I just, like, really? Oh, good, we lost a tank. Okay. <laughs> My bad, and then the tank leaves. Oh, it's... it's... good, good, good. Okay. So that, that bumped us down. Uh, if it's gonna be a 13, like, I'm just gonna bump it down a little bit. I'm gonna bump it down to a 12. Like, a 13 doesn't get me blue, it doesn't get me anything, so I'm just gonna bump it down to a 12 and we'll try it again. Yeah, Renown Tracks- yeah, I guess Renown Tracks being shared is nice, like... Again, I- it doesn't really... Doesn't really affect me. Uh, let's let's catch a repair here. We we know we need a repair. 140 for a repair. Jesus, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be broke pretty soon. This character is gonna have no no gold going into season four. Let's pop this down to a 12, and we will try again. It'll affect everyone greatly. It'll affect me hardly. So it won't it won't affect everyone greatly. Like, I don't really care. I, I don't I don't like chase renowned tracks anyway. So I, I'm never like really hot to like push a renowned track to 40. Like I don't I just don't really care. Especially because a lot of it a lot of it is like cosmetics and stuff. Like I care a little bit about cosmetics. The coolest thing for me is going to be the character select screen. Like, the biggest the biggest way it will affect me, and the coolest feature that I will find in it, is that I, I'll like to see my characters all hanging out at the campsite. That'll be the biggest benefit to me. Our renowned ch tied to professions? I, I doesn't still doesn't affect me, because I don't do professions, yeah. I'm, I, I've still not done professions, so it doesn't... Even if that's the case, it doesn't affect me. That's kind of what I was saying. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. And now we need a healer.
Yeah, and if, if you're not a person that plays alts, it's not really going to affect you, right? I mean, so yeah, it'll be it'll probably be really really huge for some people, and then for other people it'll be a neat change, and then for other people it'll be a mild convenience, and then there will be people that just you know their character select screen is different, and that's the way they experience it. And I guess, like, it affecting me and me caring about those effects are two different things. And maybe for some people it'll make you more, more apt to play alts. Yeah, I'm sure for some people that'll be a great benefit. You know, if you're a person that cares about renown and stuff like that, yeah, it must be troublesome to have to get on your alts and farm up the same renown tracks that you've already farmed up. I can definitely see how that would be annoying. What I want to do, I want to be able to take my alts on follower dungeons and like level them up that way and get them gear that way. That's what I want my warband to be. I'm a, I want my warband to be an actual warband of my characters that I can take with me on the follower dungeons. And then I could level them up that way. <laughs> like let's apply follower dungeons to all dungeons in the game so we can we can level up with it. And then I can also gear them that way as well. That would be how a warband would be best for me. Uh, I am going to the troll place. An official multi box. Yeah, just control. They're just like my other character. I control one of my characters. The other ones are controlled by AI. Yep. And then I can take my characters out. I can take them out to level. I can take them out to get a little bit of gear. Yeah, that's that's what I want. I think that'd be pretty cool. Have I broken to 15s on the pale yet? No, no, we're, and I, and I might not. We're, we're, we got 12s, like 12, we got a 14, we got a random 14 throwing a tides done. Uh, we just tried to do a 14 Atal Dazar and we, we couldn't do it. So now we're doing a 12 Atal Dazar. And yeah, I might not, I'm probably not going to push like too hard. Like my goal for this character was to get Draconically Superior before Season 4 started and we have it. We got Draconically Superior, we got a couple days till Season 4 starts. And yeah, I, I'm probably not going to push like super hard. I, I, I will, I'll be leaving Keystone Master for like Season 4. And I, I guess Keystone Master in Season 4 is going to look a little bit different than Keystone Master in Season 3. Because of all the changes they're making to the difficulty of the keys and stuff. I'm, I'm the only one here. I'm just going to throw it out there and party. I'm at the stone. Waiting on one more, like somebody else has to come out here. I need at least one other person. All right, the tank declined the summon. I, I'm assuming maybe that's because he's already on his way. I don't know. Yeah, he's already here. Okay, yeah, the tank is here somewhere. Maybe he's already inside. Feel the power of these relics, 
All right, take number two. Okay, um, yeah, great, perfect. Good, 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 good. I, I don't, I just don't know because like sometimes we come here and we go on a route where we don't pull any ads. Other times, the tanks, they, they pull all this stuff down to the boss, and it doesn't really seem like that's what you want to do. It just doesn't, I, I don't, if you could not pull stuff to the boss, it seems like you would want to not pull stuff to the boss. Like, nobody wants to have all these guys running around hitting everybody. It just seems silly. It, it seems like you either fight it on its own, or you skip it. Dragging it to the boss just feels like a really stupid idea. In my opinion. Like, yeah, we can either fight it, like, we could fight it up here, or we, or we can skip it, like, either way, but... Adding it to the boss fight doesn't seem smart! Let's line of sight. I I think we got chewed on. Yeah, I think we got devoured. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there was something I could have done about that. I'm not. I'm not 100 sure. I got a little bit distracted. I probably could have bubbled out of it. But besides bubbling out of it, I don't know. Daniel, give it a shot, man. Yeah, I mean... I've been having fun with it, but I'm not trying to tank, so like, I don't really know like about the experience of like a new fledgling tank. As DPS, it was easy to get into because I didn't really have to know the routes and stuff like that. Would I try to tank these? Like, I don't even... I don't know. I'm not sure if I would tank them. I do feel like the the tanks are, are kind of like almost accountable for like how the poles go. Okay. I did not go smoothly, but at least it went. At least it went. Blessing of Protection would have worked. Yeah, Blessing of Protection, Divine Shield probably would have worked. Blessing of Protection? I don't even have it on my bar. I got it. It's nowhere. Should probably fix that. Um, Divine Protection... I don't even know where it would be. Maybe I have to pull it out of the Talent Tree. I'll have to take, take a look at that later on.
Well, I mean, I was mainly just healing myself. And that, that wasn't really working uh, too well for, like, the long term. This, this has become a tough one. We couldn't do a 14. We are struggling with a 12. This could be a tough one. And this is the problem with constantly moving in a straight line, is that if you move in a straight line, you're going to drag that straight line right into the next group. best to avoid this path altogether yeah I can I can see why that was uh, pretty unpleasant it must have been really tough on the healer uh, we we are still taking damage from a, a festering eruption so that's not that's not great I just don't I don't think I deserved that I don't think I deserved that at all but <laughs> but it happened anyway I'm not sure what it was but it killed me in one shot so yeah not really a lot I can do with that one
So the last time we were here, uh, one of the DPS thought that it was my job to take care of all of the totems myself. So I'm kind of hoping that people understand that we each have to jump on a totem and that they have to kind of die together. Our healer is offline. Oh, son of a biscuit. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. This is some of the pain of like, this is the only real pain I felt in Mythic Plus is that like when the run is going okay, like obviously it's not, it's not a great run, but like the run is going okay and then like somebody disconnects. Like you can't, you can't fill people. So, and then like, you know, you can't even exactly rage about it because the, fo the, the focus of your rage is now offline. So you, you can't even really get upset. It's just like, it's incredibly disappointing. We're just like standing here as if he's going to come back online. Uh, so what now? That's it. That's, that's it. <laughs> there is nothing. There is nothing now. Nothing. Can't fill. Can't fill, etc. Right, we can't fill, we can't fill a plus 12 key, right? Uh, I can do all of the totems even without a heal, and I can heal too. Boop. Yeah, they, oh, they just bailed, yeah. They, to be fair, like, they, they seem like they were having to work their butts off to heal. I don't know if that was, like, a skill issue on their end, or if it was a tanking issue on the tanks. It felt like it might have been a skill level issue on, on the part of the healer, honestly. Uh, but yeah, that's... That's rough. Very, very rough. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, it just keeps getting easier and easier. We're down to a, a plus 11. I gotta sell these these fortune cards. Maybe I should be doing something else with them, but I just like Okay, that that guy they're gone. Okay, perfect It's it says um, yeah, I don't know what the point of these is. I'm, I'm just gonna vendor them Get them out of my inventory It's my only source of incoming gold Repair my gear, yeah, yeah. Two, look at my, my gold is dwindling. I'm down to 1900 gold. My gold is not going to last much longer. Can we do a plus 11? Yet to be seen. I don't, I don't really want to bring another Pally. Can I, can I get something that's not a Pally? Can I get a not a Pally? I take a not a Pally. Yeah, I, I need to start, I need to, well... I need to buy a WoW token. That's what it comes down to. I would say I need, I need to farm gold too, but I need like a solid base of gold from which to operate. I don't want you, Pally. <laughs> I don't want you. I said no. When, when you reject somebody, I wish they could not, like, queue up for your key once you've rejected them once. I might end up having to take them anyway. Let's go here. Yeah, I heard it's up to 300,000 gold for the WoW token. I mean, it's either gonna have to happen soon, or it's gonna have to- it's gonna have to happen by the time I go into War Within, either way. This'll be our last deeps, this'll be our tank. There we go. Alright, Atel Dazar take three. Third time's a charm. Down to an 11 key.
I'm running out of buff food. We are going to have to buy some buff food, which is going to cost even more money. Alright, we'll get it this time for sure. Like, what could stop us? We're at an 11 key. We got a solid group. I believe in this group. I know we can do it. Let's go. That was not, it's not line of sight over here. We're not, he's not in the right spot. That, everyone hid over here. We all hid here. We all got feared. It's, it's not line of sight. was a powerful lower. Perhaps you will make a worthy sacrifice for Zeus. Um, it seems like the tank kind of jumped down. Uh, okay, okay, I guess it's fine. Maybe start doing some world quest off stream. Easy for you to say. <laughs> so what you're saying is I should find two more hours a day to play WoW. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to get that time green lit. I'm not sure. <laughs> I only have so much time in a day. And like recently I've been streaming for like four hours. 
I have a couple recorded series that I, I do want to keep going, and I just like I wish I had an extra three hours to uh, to world quest off stream. If I had time to world quest off stream, guys, I would just world quest on stream. If I had more time to get to my computer, like I wouldn't bother doing it off stream. I would just turn the stream on, we'd hang out, and I would just do world quest. Like I just I don't have the time, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm like it's gonna have to cut into this time. If if I that's why I'm just gonna end up buying a WoW token, um, because yeah, I, I I don't have the time. Un unfortunately, like the twenty five dollars for the token is gonna be more readily available than the three hours a day that it takes me to farm up gold. That's the re I need a twenty six hour day. I would need like a thirty hour day. I got lots of I got lots of stuff going on. Like I got I got lots of stuff that I want to do in the game, but then I also have stuff like that I want to do in the rest of my life. So. Yep, and that's where the WoW token comes in. That's why God made the WoW token. All right, if we if we get a pull on the boss, this will be as far as we've gotten. Uh, I'm gonna go back here to this one, and yeah, we should be good. There we go. See, it's not that hard when you do it the right way. Am I considering doing any more hardcore leveling? And when it when it's popular again? Yeah, absolutely. 
I'm sure one day it'll have a resurgence and people will actually be interested in it again. And when that time comes, I, I would love to. But for the time being, like, interest in it is pretty low right now. And yeah, and I have so many other things that I want to be spending my time on. I'm kind of on like, a, I'm on like a classic hiatus, at least until Cataclysm comes out. And then once Cat is out, then I'll kind of develop a plan for what exactly I want to do in Classic. But, but yeah, I'm on a little bit of a... I'm on a little bit of a break from Classic. And Hardcore is like, like, like other things, like it's really great. It's a lot of fun when people are into it. When, when no one's really into it, like it's not as interesting to me. It's just the nature of it. What, what I don't want, I, I probably won't do like any more solo self-found. I, I find solo, like on its own, by its own merits, I find solo self-found really, really boring. So I'm hoping if there is like a hardcore resurgence, I'm hoping it's just like the standard hardcore like on the current servers. Because yeah, solo self-found doesn't really get along with me. We might have gotten a little bit too close to those guys. I don't think we wanted all these guys. Something tells me no. Well, it worked out. Thanks for the tip about focusing the troll down. I appreciate that. Milos, good afternoon. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Hey, I've never seen those pulled before. Uh, maybe he just wants to be like super careful. I'm not sure. Servants of Yatma are not welcome here. My claws will find your 
My claws will find your heart. The ad can be stunned, good to know. You have only succeeded in strengthening my hold on the temple. Impressive. You made it farther than I thought. But I will still be drinking your blood.
Well, that was sloppy, but we did it. Got a couple of dead people. Well, we got some gold out of that one. Uh, it's not even really like a lot of gold. 53 gold? Ugh. Why can't it be like 500 gold? I feel like 500. In the event that I only get gold, 500 feels like a much better number. Okay, uh, what did that become? That became a level 13 Murazan's Rise. Um... Mm, okay, yeah, that'd be, like, that'd be like a little bit better. It could be a little bit of a higher rating. The thing is, like, we do we really need any more rating? Not really. You know, we've kind of met our goals. Uh, let's see... I really would have liked to get my four piece, you know what I mean? I really would have liked to have looted like a uh, hands or a chest so we could at least get our four piece bonus. Uh, but we still have tomorrow, so there's still time. I am out of time for today though. So I'm gonna stop right here for now. Uh, tomorrow we'll go some more and we will just hope we can get a chest or some gloves and that'll leave us a little bit better equipped to go into season four on Tuesday. Thank you guys very much for hanging out with me this morning, this afternoon. I really do appreciate it. And yeah, we'll see you again tomorrow. Hope to see you guys then. Take care of yourselves out in the real world. Take care of each other. And we'll see you back in Azeroth very soon. Bye for now.